To find the oxidation numbers for each element in KClO3, we use the periodic table and these general rules here. So when we look down our rules, we can see a neutral compound. That's a compound that doesn't have a plus or minus out here, like an ion. So this is a neutral compound. The oxidation numbers for all of the elements, they're going to add up to zero. So we go down, we see that group one, group one, potassium's in group one. So the oxidation number on the potassium, the K here, that's a plus one. We go down further and here's oxygen. Oxygen has a minus two oxidation number. So each of these oxygens here will have a minus two. Chlorine, that is in group 17 and we would expect it to have a minus one, except this rule is last. So it's the least important and we've already assigned oxidation numbers to these elements. So we're gonna have to figure out the oxidation number on chlorine based on what it's bonded to. So we know that all of them are gonna add up to zero. And we can make an equation. We could say one plus, we don't know chlorine, let's call it X minus two, but we have three oxygen atoms. All of that should equal zero because this is a neutral compound. So X minus six plus one, so minus five equals zero. X equals plus five. And that is the oxidation number on the chlorine in KClO3. So to recap, we found the oxidation numbers of the elements we knew, and we used those to find the last one there, the chlorine. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for potassium chlorate, and thanks for watching.